So after coming up, booting again, our computer should come right to our Ubuntu login screen for our user. Now this is for me after I had done a clean install and then I booted one time and then it asked to do a series of updates. I clicked yes to update them. Those went through and installed and asked me to reboot again and then here I am. So I'm going to hit enter to select the default user, enter my password, and now my settings for my desktop weren't saved so it might be a little bit hard to see what's going on here. So I'm going to make those a little bit bigger again just so that they can easily be seen here. So I'm clicking the universal access cursor size make that a bit bigger so you can see it and then clicking devices resolution and I'm gonna change this to a 1280 by 720 so that we can see it right here nice and large so so one thing I want to do is I want to show you the rest of these commands through a proper video and not through this video of the screen so what I'm actually going to do is install, maximize this here, I'm going to install a couple of things that will make it a little bit easier for me to connect via the network. So I'm going to type sudo for my super user, apt or apt install openssh-server. So sudo apt install open SSH server and the open SSH server is what will allow us to connect on the network um, connect to this computer and then I'm also going to install something called Biobu B Y O B U which lets me keep a session running even though I connect through the network so that if my wireless gets disconnected while I'm connecting to this computer then the connection is not broken for the computer itself so it lets me keep things running in the background so we go ahead and hit enter there. It should ask me for my password. And then it's going to go ahead and try to install a number of things. It will suggest some items, um, tell me some items I can remove, as well as prompt me of do I want to continue. I'm going to hit enter for yes. And it's going to download and install OpenSSH. And it should leave that running as a service. Um, in the background that we could connect to it. So now that it's all done, I should be able to test this connection by typing IP space A for all and it's going to give me a list of devices here and what address I have on those devices. So I'm currently on a wireless and it's listing my wireless address right there. Now I can check on my service by typing sudo service open SSH status says that's not found just wants SSH so sudo service SSH status you can see it's active or running right here and what I'm gonna do is type the I'm pushing up to get to the IPA again and then I'm going to look at my address and then now if I want to connect to my nook over here what I'm going to do is type SSH the username was Panoptes and then I'm going to type in this address that I've gotten from the Wi-Fi now this immediate prompt is telling me that yes it's connecting um, so it means it's hitting something and asking do I want to trust that something so I'm going to type yes yes I do 
and it's going to ask me for my password for the Nook and I have connected to that successfully. So now you can see what I can do. I'm gonna back on the Nook, I'm gonna type clear, clear the screen. Then I'm gonna type this BYOBU and I'm connected to BYOBU here. Now back over here <clears throat> on my laptop, I'm also connected to pen 19 Nook, you can see. So if I type BYOBU here, I will connect and now you can see I'm typing in both of them both on the screen as well as on my local laptop through the SSH connection. You can see this orange border is because I'm limited by the size on my terminal. If I go back over here I can now close this actual terminal. It'll warn me that something's still running but I have it running in Biobu which means that here on my laptop, now it's resized to the full screen, and I'm still connected to this computer.